Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays everyone. I'm filming this video a little bit early in November so I can have it up and ready for Vlogmas and I am just so excited. Like, couldn't be more thrilled. Hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I'm just so pumped about it. If you guys don't know, I'm posting every single day this month up until Christmas. So subscribe, stick around, follow me on Instagram. All that stuff is linked down below. Um, but as you guys know, I love working out and I love gifts and I love the holidays and it's just the best thing ever. So in this video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about my fitness journey. This has been like probably the most requested video as a fitness routine video. Um, I can't really do a fitness routine video because I just take classes so I can't film inside of it. But we're gonna be talking about like my fitness journey which I feel like is very fitting for around this time because I'm sure the new year's coming up. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna want to get back on your fitness routine slash you're gonna be buying some gifts for some people uh, who love fitness already or just are maybe trying to get into their fitness routine. So I, one, I'm gonna share my fitness journey and stuff with you guys, and then two, I'm actually partnering with Lululemon on this video, which is so crazy because I have been wearing Lulu since way before I even had a YouTube channel. That was like six or seven years ago when I started. Some of my earliest videos, I'm wearing Wonder Unders in them. Like, I am a Lulu girl. I love their stuff. I've worn it for forever, and they've played a really, really big role in my fitness journey. So I'm honored to be able to partner with them again. I partnered with them multiple times in 2019, and I just love them. The things that I picked out are amazing items. They're the best. I'm obsessed with them. I think you guys will really enjoy them if you buy them as a gift for yourself or as a gift for someone else. We're going to be talking about my fitness routine, my fitness journey, and I'm also going to be showing you guys some Lulu products. First, before we even get into my fitness routine, let's start with the Lulu products because I feel like that's going to be the most exciting. We're going to do a little bit of a haul. So, the other day, I went to Lulu. I always go to the one on Melrose if you guys live in LA. It's my favorite one. There's also one in Studio City and Ventura. There's so many Lulu stores. Um, but I love the Melrose Place one and they have parking that they validate. So, that's how you know I really, really love it. Okay, so I got two things. These are really good as stocking stuffers, just uh, by the way. Um, I have the Uplifting Scrunchie. These scrunchies are the best scrunchies I'll ever use. I have other ones, like obviously I haven't worn these, but I have the other ones. They just hold your hair and they like actually hold them up. I feel like scrunchies a lot of the time will kind of fall back in your hair and whatever. They're just not very strong. They don't keep your hair tight like they're supposed to. These do, they're the best. They're like $8 each. Um, so they're really good for stocking suppers or just little gifts if you're getting them for friends just to add on. I love them. I wear them a lot, so I just got two more colors. I love them. I wear them a lot. I just love Lulu hair accessories, so I picked these up. The next thing that I got, this is not really necessarily fitness related, but it is the Stay Hot Keep Cold bottle. So this is a double stainless steel bottle, um, so you can keep your water cold for 24 hours and hot for 9 hours. I work out a lot of the time at like 7 a.m. So it's really important to me if I want to put like a coffee in here in the morning It'll stay hot through my class and then it's ready for me when I'm leaving and I'm heading off to class or meetings or the studio or whatever And I love how it's white. I think it's really clean and this is just such a good look I fun fact about me. I got this because one of my favorite things to receive is like a mug or a travel mug, really a travel mug, like a thermos of any type, like things like this, because I use them all the time and I love them and I love cute ones. They're just some of my favorite things to get. So, love that. Also, side note, I do a lot of Instagram stories in the month of December that'll be on highlights and stuff of like gift guides and stuff. So for the fitness lover and all that, so all of this stuff is gonna end up being on there as well. So I'll have a link down below in this video and then I'll also have them on the story if you guys wanna check them out from the Instagram story. Okay, so I got a pair of black line pants, 28 inch. I like the 28 because I like them long. Align leggings are the most comfortable leggings. If you are trying to get leggings for someone just for comfort and not necessarily for like crazy high intensity workouts, get the Align leggings. It feels like you're not wearing pants, but better. I cannot stress this to you enough. I have never had a black pair though, um, but the black Align leggings, they're so flattering. They feel so incredible. I just can't, I, like, Unreal so good Guys, I just cannot stress to you enough How comfortable these leggings are like you need to go into Lulu and try them on and I guarantee you will just buy them immediately They're so soft. They're so flattering feels like you're not wearing pants, but better like literally the best ever Oh my gosh Obviously, I know all about lines, but every time I get a new pair. I'm just amazed 
Okay, the next thing that I picked up, um, this sports bra. So I'm someone who has a bigger chest, so it really doesn't matter what sports bra I wear. Like, it looks like I'm, like, really trying to, like, you know, I'm just, like, sometimes I don't want, like, my whole chest just, like, out. So I really love this sports bra because it holds everything in. Sucks, not even sucks it in, but it just covers up everything. Makes it a little more comfortable if it's, like, a hit workout and I feel like I'm, like, running all over the place, you know? The sports bra is awesome because it's a little bit more conservative. So if you're trying to not wear like a shirt and stuff, it's still like a little bit more conservative, maybe for like a family ordeal, a family hike or something, I don't know. Um, it's super cute. And then the back is just crisscross, but love the sports bra. This is something I picked up that was a little bit different, but I feel like a lot of you guys will end up liking it. I only ever work out in biker shorts or leggings and a sports bra, I never wear shirts. So I don't think I'll necessarily wear this top while working out, but I think I'm going to throw it on before and after a workout. It is just, let me see what it's actually called, the Runderful Long Sleeve. So basically this is for cold weather running. If you guys are shopping for a mom, an aunt, or anything like that. Pro tip, long sleeves, very flattering. Black, very flattering. This, overall, very flattering. Um, I like how it's bruised to the side. It's perfect for running in the cold, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing or shopping for people who do that in the cold for the holiday season. So I love that and I never get tops, so I feel pretty cool. This top is awesome. It's really flattering and it feels so warm. Also, it has the like thumb hole thing, so you're able to keep even warmer. And then I just got another set. So if you guys are shopping for someone or you guys are just into sets that are into like the cuter fitness wear to wear, um, they just like matching sets. It also makes working out easier because I just grab two things and I'm like ready to go. Um, I got this set. It is the free to be bra in wild. Um, love this. Super, super cute. And then I just got the matching leggings. These are the Wonder Under High Rise Tight 28 inch. Um, Wonder Under is till the day I die, guys. They're the best leggings in the world. But I love these. So good. Um, I like getting the 28 inch because I like them to be longer. I don't really like cropped leggings. But yeah, that is what I got from Lulu. Oh. All right, so this set is really amazing. Um, this is really good for a hot class because it feels a little bit lighter and it's just not like, you just basically want the least amount of coverage as possible just because it's so hot. Um, but I really like the sports bra. And then um, these bottoms are super cute. I think the print of these is just so cute and adorable. I love white workout sets, but I always ruin them. I'm always just too afraid. So I like how this is like a little bit gray and whatever. These are really comfortable, as always, some of the best leggings ever. Big, big fan. I will have everything linked down below that I just showed you guys. Also, pick up a present for yourself after watching this video. And if you guys are feeling like you want to get into your fitness routine, into your best self health-wise, um, check out Lulu. I will also link like five other pieces that are my top five favorite Lulu products if you guys are just trying to get into Lulu or into fitness and stuff. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably are in the new year. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about my fitness and health journey and kind of how I've gotten. I'm definitely the most fit I have been in quite some time. I'm definitely the most like on my fitness routine. I wouldn't say as far as like eating and health wise, I'm the healthiest. I was so healthy this summer and that was amazing. And that was amazing. So if you guys want anything about like health and eating, check out my videos from the summer. So we're gonna get into the fitness journey part of this video. You guys have requested this a ton over the past like honestly year, but I've just never known how to film this video because I can't like film inside of the classes and I don't have like a personal trainer that I can go film with. Um, you guys see me in vlogs, go to Pilates like every single day. So I feel like that is just basically my fitness routine. I really strictly do just Pilates right now and I'll randomly go on like hikes and stuff, but I've never seen something be better for my mental health, my physical health, um, emotional health, everything. Like seriously, it's just the best thing ever. But we're gonna do my whole journey, kind of how I got onto this routine, how I stay motivated, and all of this. And hopefully this inspires some of you guys to get on your fitness routine. All right, so I grew up in Texas, which that just means Texas sports are really competitive and your whole life is basically your sports. I played every single sport you could possibly play. My dad is very athletic, so it was like a really big thing. I loved sports. Super fun, I play competitive. Just to put this in perspective of how insane Texas sports are, the field, the high school football field in my hometown is like, I think almost $70 million, maybe more at this point, like they just built it. So just to like kind of 
set the scene of how competitive these things are, it's a big deal. So I always was really active, like I was always playing sports, I played volleyball competitively, I was really into volleyball. I stopped playing in high school because that's when I started doing like YouTube and I was like really involved in like student council and like a bunch of other things. And I just didn't want my whole life to be volleyball anymore basically. But I was really active growing up. It was like a really, really, really big part of my life. I love sports. I like love working out. And yeah. So for the remainder of high school, um, I was just really focused on YouTube and like doing all that stuff. And so fitness was not my main priority. Um, we had a gym in my house. So I would actually work out in that gym. Like not a lot, but I would work out probably like twice a week. If that, like I wasn't very structured. I wasn't very routined, whatever. But that was only like a year in between. I ended up moving to LA. Um, I moved to LA, I get very into SoulCycle, SoulCycle, I freaking love SoulCycle to this day. There was actually another spin class, because at the time, there wasn't a SoulCycle downtown, and I was living downtown, and the closest one was like a th like a very long drive, and so that was annoying. So I started spinning in this other studio that I actually really liked, and for the most part, I say like, if you're gonna go spin, it's worth it to do SoulCycle. It's like a totally different experience than everywhere else. I freaking love SoulCycle. Um, but I went to this other studio that I really liked. I had unlimited. I would go like every single day. I actually, this is when Paulina, like PB Bunny 97, and I would go to spin all the time with Peter. We were talking about this this summer actually. Um, and we would just go spin like 24 seven. Then I get off of that and I kind of like stopped working out and I would work out randomly. I wasn't back on a structured routine, yada yada. So, for me, um, working out, I have anxiety, and working out is the biggest help to me. Like, I'm so for therapy as well. Therapy's great. Um, but for me, like, if I'm constantly working out, there is a huge difference in my overall, like, mental health and emotional well-being. Yes, I work out because I want to feel good physically as well, but, like, honestly, my biggest reason is because emotionally and, like, mentally, I'm just so much better if I'm working out. I know that's like a scientific thing, like there's like reasoning behind that too. I think 90% of it is the fact that I'm active and then 10% of it is the fact that I'm like on a routine. So last year, um, like last December, um, I had like a really traumatic life event happen in my family and I was like, okay, like, I can't control anything around me and I feel like I'm just like losing it and I like need to like go run or like do something. Like I need to get active because I need to like basically like work it out. Basically I was just going through a really hard time and I was like, okay, like I need to get back on my fitness journey because I know how much it's helped me in the past. And it was almost like I didn't have any control of my life. And I don't mean like control over like my health and what I'm eating and all of that stuff. I've honestly just meant like control over my life. Like everything that was happening was just completely out of like anyone's control. So I was just like, wow, I really am like not doing great right now. So I was like, I want to start working out again because I know how much that's really helped me in the past. It puts me on like a nice routine and I know how good working out is for my soul. Like not even for like my physical well-being, how I look, anything like that. It was just like totally emotional and I was like, I know how good this is for me. So I'm going to start working out and this is going to help me. So I was home in Texas for like probably three weeks a month um, for winter break while all this stuff was happening. And then I found Orange Theory. I started going to Orange Theory because Danielle and Brooke, this is at the time that they were like obsessed with it. And there was an Orange Theory down the street from me and there was a bunch like near me in LA. So I was like, I'm just gonna start doing Orange Theory and see how I like it. And I fell in love with it. If you guys are interested in Orange Theory at all, it's really great. It's awesome for like hit, it's kind of like a hit workout. Like you do rowing, treadmill and floor, which is like weights. So if you guys have never rowed before, I don't know how necessarily to explain that. Google it. It's like, I don't want to explain it here, but basically you just like rotate and there's intervals. It's really fun. It's a really great way to work out. You can track your progress. It was great. I did that for about five months and then I kind of just got over it. I think I like really overdid it with it because I was doing it all the time, which is ironic because like now Pilates, whatever. I was really into it. It was super fun. But I kind of got over it. I overdid it for myself and it was just like, there's just no point in me going here anymore. I'm over it. It was really helping me mentally and like emotionally as I've mentioned 3,000 times in this video. So um, in the summer, I started going to hot Pilates. I'd always wanted to do this. I wanted to really try a bunch of new things. Like that was always my plan. Like in the summer, I'm going to like find something else to do. And so I started going to hot Pilates. Um, Kinsey Burke actually took me the first time. And honestly, like my first few classes, I wasn't obsessed with it. And then something just switched and I was like, oh my gosh, like now Pilates 
isn't just like a workout for me it's like my hobby like I love Pilates like it's abnormal how much I love it it's not just like it's almost like I feel like I'm going to practice like that's how much I love it but I never dread it I've never loved anything more than hot Pilates in my life clearly as we've talked about it if you guys are not familiar with what hot Pilates is basically you're in a 95 degree room and you have a mat it's not a reformer Pilates it's like mat Pilates and then you have weights you have your circle you have a band Sometimes you have a block, sometimes you'll have magic sliders, gliders, whatever, but I pray against those every time I walk in because they're so awful. For those classes, I normally, honestly, I normally wear like a Lulu sports bra and leggings or biker shorts or whatever I have. You guys see it on my Instagram story all the time. And yeah, it's a 55 minute class in 95 degrees doing Pilates. It's tough. It's not, it's not like yoga. Like it's very different if you guys want to do pilates workouts actually at home i will link down below because the owner of hot pilates has a youtube channel where she shares workouts and stuff comment tell her i sent you shannon they're the best i i'm like so behind hot pilates i couldn't love them more literally it's the best thing ever so then i got really into pilates and i've been going ever since like i'm almost at as we're filming this i'm almost at 100 classes <laughs> like i go every i go five times a week because i can't go sundays and i normally can't go saturdays depending on the times but i go minimum five times a week it has made the biggest difference in my life i'm so much stronger I've tried every single workout and every single workout class pretty much and Pilates has like toned up my body I've never had a butt before in my life and now I do my body has changed so much But Pilates like tones you up really quick and it just like gives you kind of like I don't know it just like actually makes a difference in your body and toning in your body And I feel like a lot of the workouts I was doing before like yeah I was working out but I didn't really see differences in my body Which I didn't care about until I started doing Pilates and then I started seeing differences and I'm like oh Oh, you know, so I normally will go there if you guys are going daylight is my favorite teacher She's the absolute best her classes are so freaking fun. They have the best music. It's upbeat. It's fun It's just a bunch of girls for the most part Everyone kind of knows everyone like at this point. I have like friends at the studio I know the front desk like I love everyone there and I love Pilates So basically that is what I've been doing for the past six months who knows how I get tired of it I just really honestly don't see myself getting tired of it like I would love to teach Pilates on the side if it made sense because it's just so fun for me So that is really it for my fitness journey and I feel so much stronger like emotionally Spiritually mentally physically. I feel so much healthier. I feel like I have so much more like Healthy control over my life like I don't feel like life is just happening to me I feel like I'm making like active strides every day It's like an hour of my day that I it's just like my me time like I'm like working on myself I don't have to think about anything else. I just listen to the music. I work out it's just so incredible. So I really encourage any of you guys, like if you're not super into working out, I think that there is probably a workout class that every single person would like, even if it's just yoga, something, like find something, maybe do class pass, I don't know, try out different classes. I feel like there's just something that everyone would like, even if that's just like a simple walk around the neighborhood. If you guys want more fitness related videos, let me know. That's kind of just my backstory with fitness, how I got into Pilates, how I more about like orange theory i've gotten asked a lot of questions about that um and lululemon i will have everything linked down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too all over the place there's just a lot that i could say and yeah but i think again fitness is like one of the most important things in my life to me it makes the biggest difference in my life it affects every single area of your life i want to be the healthiest best self that i can be for myself and those around me so that's why i care about all this stuff and i think just being active in the slide is like you don't need to do this like look a certain way or anything like that um but i think it's just important to take care of yourself and to get active because I f it makes you feel so much better emotionally and mentally so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did let me know by giving it a thumbs up subscribe check out lulu um the stuff that i showed in this video as well as like my top five favorite lulu products will be linked down below love you guys so much if you guys enjoyed and i will see you soon